Here's your tea. Oh, look! He actually brought me some tea! I can see that you have no pride as a man. Don't you feel ashamed about being made to do the household chores as a man? I'm so busy being the man of my house that I don't have time to do petty chores. You're an embarrassment to us all! Do you understand what we've been trying to tell you? As a man, you shouldn't have to do any household chores. Do you see how wrong this is? Trouble Busters! My name is Alan, and I'm 30 years old. I got married to my lovely wife Melanie a month ago. We met at a bookstore. I was looking for some interesting books to buy. Oh. I love this book. Great choice. It's not very famous, but it's very popular among keen readers. The writing is great and the plot is very creative. It's a real page turner and I couldn't put it down until I finished the whole thing. Wow, sounds exciting. Melanie couldn't stop raving about the book that I had chosen. Sorry to keep on babbling. How embarrassing. I found it cute when she blushed. I hadn't been paying attention to anything she was saying, but I fell in love with her instantly. It was love at first sight. I went back to the bookstore every chance that I got so that I could see Melanie. After talking for hours about our shared passion for reading, I got the confidence to ask her out on a date. And, a month ago, we got married. When we first got engaged, I went to meet Melanie's father. Melanie's parents were divorced, and since, she was raised solely by her father. He was her only family. So, you must be out. You're not the strong and confident man that I had expected to meet today. I'm much stronger than I look. I will do everything in my power to keep Melanie happy and safe. Well, Melanie is my only daughter, so I plan to have her live with me even after you two are married. Dad, what do you mean by that? Melanie usually liked to talk non-stop, but today she was very quiet. Was she nervous? I'll allow Alan to live with us after you two are married. Th the three of us living here? Uh, under the same roof? I didn't want to live with my father-in-law, but it looks like I didn't have a choice in the matter. Uh, thank you for the offer. I would love to live here with you and Melanie. Melanie's father approved my marriage to Melanie since I had agreed to live with him in his house after Melanie and I were married. I'm sorry about the stupid rule that my father made. I can't say no to him. We are getting married, and that means the world to me. You have nothing to apologize for. I'm really sorry for not being able to protect you from my crazy father. Protect? I don't need protection from your father. He seems alright to me. I finally understood what Melanie had meant that day after starting to live under the same roof as her father. Melanie was now working as an area manager for a large bookstore company, and she was really good at her job, which is why she got promoted to such a senior position. I respected her so much and was happy for her achievements, but her father didn't see things in the same way. I'm going to be home from work late tonight. I have a lot to get done. Okay, I'll have dinner ready for you when you come home. Thank you so much, that'd be great help. You're a woman. Shouldn't you be at home taking care of your family and the house? Um... As a woman, you don't need to have a career. Let Alan take care of bringing in the money. You're too serious. You need to enjoy life more. Your mother left us because you were a boring child. I need to get to work now, bye! I could tell that Melanie wasn't comfortable around her father. She barely said a word in front of him. As for me, I took care of the house while Melanie was working out hard. I've always known how to take care of myself, and I was good at getting the household chores done. I enjoyed doing what I had to do to keep the home a beautiful place to live in. <laughs> I love cleaning! It makes me so happy! Alan, what are you doing? Sorry, was I singing too loud? You were, but it's not just that. Why are you cleaning the house? That's not a man's job. You should be ashamed of yourself. Well, Melanie is really busy with work, so I want to help her out. She doesn't have the time to clean the house. My work was very flexible, and I got off work at a reasonable hour every day. I was really lucky. I think that whoever has the time should do their part in keeping the house tidy. I don't mind being the one to take on that role. In fact, I enjoy it. And you you call yourself the man of the house. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm so embarrassed to have you as my son-in-law. I'm gonna go hit the slot machines. I don't want to watch you doing a woman's job. It makes me sick. Fine by me. Have fun. I don't know why it was such a big problem, but Melanie's father would continue to give me a hard time about me taking care of the house. For example, if I were cleaning the tabletops, Melanie's father would purposely knock down the trash can and let the contents spill onto the floor. Oh no. I just finished wiping and vacuuming the floors. Oh, sorry. I didn't see the trash can on the floor. Besides, what were you doing vacuuming in the first place? Mm, I feel like you're doing this to annoy me. What's wrong with a man helping out with the chores? You're too old-fashioned. <sighs> it makes me angry that you go against my wishes. Why don't you go find a second job if you have so much time on your hands? I had to take it out onto the trash can. What does it matter to you? Who do you think is putting food on our table? Melanie and I? Mostly Melanie? Yes, that's right. I mean, no. 
It's because of me that you both don't go hungry. What is it that you do for a living? I don't understand how you can say that. Well, this is my house for one. I'm kind enough to let you two live under my roof. You should show a little more respect toward me. Why are you taking out on me? What did I do? This is turning out to be a very bad day for me. Ugh, I'm tired of having this conversation with you. I'm gonna go watch the horse races. Why is he so intent on getting me not to do the household chores? I don't get it. I was trying to figure out why Melanie's father was acting so ridiculous and things were going to get even uglier between us. I made dinner for us tonight. I hope you like it. I'm not hungry. You shouldn't waste food. God will be angry with us. I'm going out to go eat some sushi on my own. Well, uh, why don't we go together then? Oops. I tripped on this bucket on the floor. Oh, the water spilled. My bad. I just saw you kick the bucket. Don't try to make it look like an accident. Ugh, make sure that you wipe down the floors. I don't want the water to leave any stains. Damn, I just finished cleaning the floors. I have to start all over. Uh, today's not going so well for me either. Ah. Have you been throwing out the trash without separating the degradables and the non-degradables? No, I haven't. Are you sure about that? Because I've been separating my trash properly. Don't lie to me! Look at this, all your trash is jumbled together. I know who did this. It must be Melanie's father. He did this intentionally. Melanie's father continued to harass me on a daily basis. To make matters worse, Melanie's father invited his friends to come over to the house and play pranks on me. So you're the one who's been doing all the chores in this house. Yes, that's me. Uh, who are you, by the way? I'm your father-in-law's friend, Aaron. Will you make me some tea? I'm a house guest after all. I just met you and you're already ordering me around? Aren't you being a little rude? Here's your tea. Oh look, he actually brought me some tea. I can see that you have no pride as a man. Don't you feel ashamed about being made to do the household chores as a man? I'm so busy being the man of my house that I don't have time to do petty chores. You're an embarrassment to us all. Do you understand what we've been trying to tell you? As a man, you shouldn't have to do any household chores. Do you see how wrong this is? Melanie's father and his friends made fun of me. His friends came over every chance they got, and their bad behavior continued for another month, and it was starting to take a toll on my mental health. I feel like a male version of Cinderella was being emotionally abused by my wicked stepfather. Now, all I needed was for my mice friends to make me a dress for the upcoming ball. I laughed at my stupid joke. I wonder what Melanie's father and his friends are going to say to me today. Uh, hi there. Mm hmm. Hmm, what was wrong? Melanie's father was being really quiet today, and he hasn't thrown out the meal that I had prepared for him. Has he finally realized how much effort I had been putting in to make the house pristine? Maybe I don't need to be the male version of Cinderella anymore. I was happy that things were getting better for me. I reached for the olive oil to prepare another dish. As I poured the oil into a hot frying pan, Melanie's father no! shoved me in the back. I told you that a man is not supposed to cook or do the household chores. I'll show you what needs to be done to you. Stop it! I instantly pushed Melanie's father away. But watch out! Are you alright? <sighs> this is violence. I'm going to call the police. I'm going to tell the police that you attacked me. I'm a victim of your violence. There's no need for you to shout. I need to let everyone know what kind of a violent man you are. Wait, you pushed me first. In fact, you tried to burn my face with a hot frying pan. How did your friends get here so fast? It's as if they were on standby. Could you at least take off your shoes? I just finished waxing the floors. What were you thinking? Violence is a crime, you know. I think we need to get you down to the police station. I don't think that Melanie would want to stay married to you after what you did to her father. It was Melanie's father that pushed me first. He tried to really hurt me. It was self-defense. Don't talk back to us. You should show some respect. You should hope that the police doesn't arrest your sorry ass. See? Everyone sees this as being your fault. You need to take responsibility for your actions. I was shocked that Melanie's father first tried to burn my face off and then had the nerve to blame it all on me. I was fed up with the abuse that I was receiving from him. I won't forgive him! Trouble busters! How many times do I have to tell you this? Men aren't supposed to clean the house. Don't you get it? Well, if I don't clean the house, who will? <sighs> get Melanie to do it. It's a woman's job. Why did she choose you as her husband? I simply don't understand. Melanie's father's argument was always the same. He didn't bring any new ideas to the table. Hi. We've come to see your pathetic son-in-law again. What's your son-in-law cooking for us today? It's like Melanie married a woman. Melanie's gonna leave you if you don't start manning up. I was used to their rude remarks by now. Why are you so quiet? Stop ignoring us while you peel some potatoes. Don't you have anything better to do with your time? Stop cooking and have a conversation with us like a real man. You're embarrassing me in front of my friends. Now take off your ridiculous apron. What's so shameful about a man cooking for his family? M Melanie, what are you doing home? 
Didn't you have to work today? Sarah? Why are you here with Melanie? Melanie and her friends, also the daughters of her father's friends, came into the room in fury. I had asked Melanie to stage an intervention. Dad, you're embarrassing me. Have you been bullying Alan this whole time? Why are you all ganging up on Alan? What has he ever done to you? You guys are being a bunch of mean old farts. Don't bother Alan for doing something nice for his family. Don't speak to us like this. We're your parents. You're all garbage, trash, waste, and scum. Especially you, Dad. Shame on you! I had no idea that so much filth could come out of your pretty mouth. I can be scary when I need to be. This is between us men. You girls, butt out! That's right. Leave the men to deal with this. Shut up, Dad. We're fed up with your whining. We're more than happy to stop being your daughters if that's what it takes for you to open up your eyes. What? You wouldn't do that to us. Your way of thinking is ancient, and you all need to grow up. I always thought that your way of thinking was outdated and old-fashioned, but whenever I tried to tell you how I felt, you always told me that as a girl I shouldn't have any opinions of my own. We don't want our children to get the wrong idea once they're born into this world, so we need to fix this before we become parents ourselves. If I ever decide to have any children with Alan, I won't be introducing them to their outrageous grandfather. Melanie. Are you being serious? It's because you are all so stuck in bad old habits that your wives left you. I wouldn't want my children to have anything to do with you either. That's a great idea. I'm in. Melanie's father and his friends were all divorced because their wives have left them. Their daughters meant everything to them, and now that there were talks about them not being able to see their grandchildren, the four men began to panic. W wait a minute! You're going to forbid us from seeing our grandchildren? Please don't do that! It's all I look forward to! You're being too harsh. We've had enough of your bad behavior. We're fed up with you. You only have yourselves to blame! <sighs> this is all your fault! You brought us in on this! If I'm not allowed to see my grandchildren, I'll never forgive you! Uh, yes! You were the one that told us to bully Alan! This is your fault! Look at what happened! You should have never involved us! Uh, hold on a second! We're also unhappy about the fact that none of you are willing to take any responsibility for your actions. You're a pathetic bunch. We don't ever want to see you again! Goodbye now! Wait! Don't leave us! Let us explain! M Melanie, we only acted like this today. We're usually much more sensible, so please forgive us! Don't lie to me, Dad! I never had the courage to talk back to you because I was terrified of you, but not anymore. Why the sudden change in attitude? Don't you respect me? Listen, Melanie, I'm sure we can work this out by talking to each other. I can't forgive you for what you did to Alan. He's done nothing but be kind to you, and you treat him so miserably. I don't trust you. What are you referring to? I know that you tried to burn Alan's face using a hot frying pan the other day. How do you know this? I came home early from work that day. I overheard your conversation and recorded the whole thing with my smartphone. I won't let you get away with this. Dare you turn on me. I'm your father. It was an accident. You have to believe me. I would never do anything like that on purpose. We know that you're bluffing. You could have really hurt Alan. Doesn't that scare you? I never knew that you were such a monster. We're leaving you and moving out of this house. Where do you two intend on living? It's not easy to buy a new house. Actually, we'll be fine. We're both working full time and we have enough savings. We already found someone to live with. Helen, what are you doing here? I asked her to come here. It's been a long time. I heard that you've been mistreating Melanie and her husband. Uh, this is all a very big misunderstanding. You lied to me and told me that my mother had left me. I can't believe that you lied to our daughter about something so important. You're the one that kicked me out of the house. You said that I was a useless woman. My mom has been looking for me ever since you kicked her out of the house and separated the two of us. You wouldn't allow me to see her even though I missed her so much. I've recently hired a private detective to track Melanie down. It wasn't easy finding her. I won't forgive you for separating me from my mom and also lying to me about what really happened between you two. I was trying to protect you from her. Besides, your mother didn't have the money to raise you on her own. You have it all wrong. Helen is the CEO of the company that I work for. She is more than capable of raising Melanie on her own. A CEO? When my private investigator determined the location of Melanie, I realized that her husband worked for my company. This can't be true. There is no way that a woman like you can manage an entire company. Stop mocking me. I started my own company after we got divorced because I wanted to be able to stand on my own two feet. I wanted to have enough money to find Melanie and live with her again. My company is doing really well because I worked so hard. I asked Alan to help me out with the household chores for a good reason. I hear that Melanie is very busy with her work. My company pays benefits to employees that do their share of the housework because I know how important it is to take care of the house in order to live happily. 
I get extra money from my company by taking care of my own house. Isn't it great? I want all of my employees to take good care of their families. That's how I came up with this special program. This is why Melanie was able to concentrate on her work. She was able to rely on Alan. I was never able to do that when I was married to you. I'm pleasantly surprised that my mother-in-law is so forward in her thinking. So refreshing and different from my father-in-law. Your ex-wife also introduced me to a great lawyer. I'm going to sue you for trying to burn my face off. And I have all the evidence on my smartphone, so you can't try to get away with it. Damn it! Why is this happening to me? Melanie and I moved out of her father's house and also sued him for his violence and emotional abuse. Because Melanie had recorded the incident, her father was arrested and also ordered to pay us back for all the damages. That wasn't all. Up until now, Melanie had been paying the property taxes of her father's house. Now that Melanie stopped paying those taxes, her father was forced to sell his house. I'm sorry for everything I've done to you. Will you please forgive me? Won't you move back in again? I beg you! I don't have any savings, and I'm too old to get a job. That's because you used all of your money on gambling. This is all your fault and has nothing to do with me. I can't live off my pension. It's not enough. No one will want to hire me because I now have a criminal record. Well, you need to take responsibility for your mistakes. Grow up! Melanie's father had no choice but to rent a shitty apartment and live a lonely life. As for his three friends that bullied me, they didn't have it so easy either. None of their daughters wanted anything to do with them, and they weren't allowed to see their grandchildren. They spent a very lonely life too. Well, they all deserve what they got in the end. And <laughs> look at this place. It's huge. Melanie's mom is a super successful businesswoman. I had no idea that your company was doing so well. I have so much respect for you. Well, I have my employees to thank. It's because of their hard work that my company is doing well. So thank you for your hard work, Alan. So this is how we ended up living with Melanie's mom, who was also my boss at work. I continued to work for Melanie's mom and also kept on helping with the household chores. Melanie helps me with the chores too whenever she has time. And in return, Melanie's mom lets us live at her place without paying rent. Uh, are you sure that we don't need to pay any rent? Yeah. Yes, I'm sure, and I'm really grateful that you take all of the chores. I'm not good at keeping my house clean, so... And you don't need to speak to me in that same manner that you do to me at work. When we're at home, we're family. I see. Thank you so much. I'm so happy that we're living together. Yes, me too. Your mom is wonderful to be around. I really missed having my mom around, and I'm no longer stuck with my dreaded father. I was so happy to see Melanie back with her mother. We were all so happy with our new life, but things got even better for us. A few months after we started living with Melanie's mom, Melanie became pregnant. I'm so ready to have this baby. I'm so happy that you'll be by my side through it all, Mom. I'm so ready to become a hands-on grandma. Melanie's father could have welcomed his grandchild with us had he not been so selfish and mean. <laughs> What a pity. I hope that he regrets what he did to us and is trying to live a better life now. It's so important for us to update our values because life keeps on changing. And it's also really essential to be kind to others because the way we treat others is a reflection of how we ourselves want to be treated. Troublebusters!